Hey guys, it's Jaylon. Welcome back. I am here today to do an update for my Project Polish. I have my polishes here. I've been using these polishes for the last month and I don't have anything to roll out yet. I guess I distributed the love enough to where there really hasn't been like one clear winner as far as usage. So let me just show you which polishes I have in this project and then how many uses I have on each of them. So I have my little wheel. The first one is this one here and this is is ILNP Flaky Polish in the shade Atlantis. And it's this beautiful like duochrome, multi-chrome actually, flaky polish. And I've used this four times. So I've used this a few times just on an accent nail. I think I used this one time on my toes over an entire polish. That was like my monochromatic pans polish. It was a purple polish. I think this is the one I've used the most. Yeah, this is the one I've used the most. I probably could have used it on my nails today. I'm going to actually change the polish that I have on my nails um, right now because I've had it on, I've had them on here for a couple of days. But yeah, I really do love this. Sometimes I do have to, instead Instead of brushing it on with the nail brush I do have to use a sponge because it just goes on better with a sponge so it takes a little bit more time to use this but I do love this polish it's so pretty it's so hard to show the the flakies and the duochrome I can't do it justice. I can't do it justice. The next polish is this one right here. And that is this China Glaze Polish and Sexy Silhouette. And I have not used this one yet. <laughs> I think because it's such a bright pink, I'm probably going to put this one on next actually and top it with another shade I'm going to show you in a little bit. But I think that's why I haven't really used this yet. I feel like while it's a time of year where I can wear some of these darker shades like a lot, that's kind of what I've been focusing on. So this one has not had any use at all. Next up is this one here and it's kind of hard to see the I don't know if the holographic glitter showed up on camera this is the colors by LaRoe polish in fairy dust and let me actually see if I can show you guys there we go it's such a pretty nail polish. Mm, I love this. And I did wear this in a video with this Atlantis on an accent nail. And I have worn that, what, twice? Yeah, I've worn that one twice. It does require me to take it off, like soak my nails for just a little bit of time in acetone to take it off because it does have that gritty texture, but it comes off pretty easily other than that. Next up is this polish here. And this is an Essie polish polish in Swing Velvet and you know I think this polish has a lot of use in it oh yeah yeah I mean it's down to about here just I think just from regular use it's down to it's down to here and that's a lot to me for a polish since I have so many so I've used this one twice as well one time I used this with this guy which is fun lacquer storage and then another time I used this as a base with a new polish I have in my monochromatic pans in the shade charlatan which is a cult nails polish something's up with that polish and I have to do a little bit of research because it took forever to dry. I don't know if the polish has gone bad and I use either Sesh Vite or the HK Girl top coat which is a very fast dry top coat like both of those are my holy grail top coats. So I'm not sure what's going on with that Cult Nails polish. It could be just that it's really old. So I'm not sure if there's anything that can be done to rectify that. But I did use it over this and there are a couple of videos where I am wearing that combo and it's so pretty. So pretty. I loved that combination. So I'd like to repeat that combo with this polish. Uh, I just need to figure out if I can make that Cult Nails polish work. Next up is this glitter polish here. This is an Emily Damali polish in Fashion Victim. 
and it's, I'm going to turn around this way, it's beautiful pink and like holographic glitter particles. It's so pretty. And I've used this once. I had a fail on this one. I tried to use nail vinyls where this was the base and then I used a nail vinyl. I sponged on some black polish with the nail vinyl on top. The nail vinyl was just like black with seep doll and it, it was just bad. So I had to take the whole thing off but I did use it as a base. So I counted it. I ended up just having to take the whole thing off like that same day. But this is really pretty. I really do like this. I think it would be a really good combo with obviously with this one too. So I'll have to play around. This is the month to do it. February. Next up is this one. This is a beautiful blue green teal polish and it is from A England. And this is in the shade St. George. And it is this beautiful, like, holographic. It's less holographic and more opaque. And this is almost opaque in one coat, but I typically still use two coats. I'm actually wearing this on my toes now. I think I've used this three times. So this is the seventh polish. And this is, this is actually what I'm wearing on my nails now. And this is the Colors by LaRoe. And this shade is Berries in the Snow. And this is what this one looks like. It's a really nice holographic polish as well. You know, it's interesting. It doesn't show up on the nails super holographic, and it could be my top coat. I haven't really played around with not using a top coat with this one because I always use a top coat, but I love this color. It's a really beautiful eggplanty purpley shade. I've used this one three times as well, so it's very pretty. Love it, love it, love it, love it. The next two are both multi-chromes. <laughs> now I swatched both of these over black polishes so you could see them, but this is the first one and this is um, Fun Lacquer in Storage. And this is what this one looks like. I don't know if I can show the... I did show in my intro video a picture from Fun Lacquer's website, but it shifts to like a magenta gold copper shift. It's very pretty. And I've used that one twice. It's beautiful. I love it. Now the other one I've used three times actually, and it is this one here. It is a more of a purple, blue, aqua, purple shifting multi-chrome. And it is also by Fun Lacquer and it is in the shade Frost. And that is what this one looks like. So I don't know if I can show the shift in this one. It's so pretty. I've used this one three times. I love this one so much. And it's interesting, I feel like I can see more of the usage on this bottle than any of the other ones. I'm like down to here on this one. I probably had some usage on it before, but. So that's my update for my project polish. I would really like to try to get through Atlantis. I think I can try to work on getting this one out. I want to get some use on both of these pinks since we are in the month of love, February. So I want to get a couple of, at least a couple of uses on those. I think these two multi-chromes, like trying to make sure that I am layering these a bit more often so that I can get some usage on these. Because like even on this polish today, like I totally could have used one of these on my nails. So I need to get better about making sure that I am multitasking. I probably do my nails once every three days or so and then I change my my toes every week. Overall I change my polish three times a week. Better than what I was doing before. Before it was like I would go a month without changing my nail polish. So 
we're getting better. It's just, it's not going to be a quick, fast project for me. And that's why, one of the reasons why a project polish like using up a polish just wasn't working for me because I wasn't going through polish very quickly. So anyway, that is my update for this month. I hopefully will have something rolled out for next month and we can pick something new. I will work on multitasking some of these so that I will have some higher usage goals and we can get through some of this stuff. Okay, that's it. Please let me know if you guys have any questions down below. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe out there and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I feel like I've worn this shirt a couple of times. <laughs> I probably should get more clothes, Jalen. Get some more clothes. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I always say that to my channel. Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome back. I am here to do my update for my prog progress, progress, pro progress, pro Hey guys, welcome back. It's Jalen. I'm here today to do an update for my progress, progress polish. Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome back. I'm here today to do an update for my project. <laughs>